Hello children, welcome back to Asha.academy. Today, let me walk you through tenses part one. Tenses, it's a nightmare for students. Upon watching this video, I'm pretty sure you'll be delighted to get clarification. How many tenses are there in English language? You do know very well, English language has got 12 tenses. And under part one, let me take you through the very first four tenses which come under present. So the very first one, simple present tense and then present continuous, present perfect and present perfect continuous. So this slide talks much about the sentence structure, structure of each of these tenses. When to make use of simple present tense? Use one. When you want to talk about repeated actions, then in that case, you can make use of simple present tense. And then second usage, when you want to talk about facts or generalizations. And then the third usage, schedule events in the near future. So here, the very first one. Look at the sentence structure here verb plus yes or yes in third person so when you want to talk about habits she drinks tea at breakfast he only eats fish i watch television regularly so when you want to talk about habitual or customary actions then in that case you can go for simple present tense and then for repeated actions or events they catch the bus every morning how do they go to school? They catch the bus every morning. So here, when you want to talk about repeated actions which happen in the present, then in that case, you can go for simple present tense. It rains every morning in the hot season. They drive to Mumbai every summer. And then when you want to talk about general truths, water freezes at zero degrees. The earth revolves around the sun. Her mother is an Indian. So in that case, so here, when you talk about universal truths, general truths or facts, then in that case, you can go for simple present tense. And then for instructions or directions, when you want to direct someone to reach uh, his or her destination, then in that case, you can make use of simple present tense. Or even when you want to guide someone to cook food, then again, in that case, you can go for simple present tense. Open the packet and pour the contents into running water. And then, for fixed arrangements, his father arrives tomorrow. A holiday starts on the 30th March. So, for actions planned for future. Again, you must have read it from the newspaper. The headlines. Indian Prime Minister meets Joe Biden the next month. So here, when the action is planned for future, then you can make use of simple present tense. And then with future constructions, she will see him before she leaves. We will give it to him when she arrives. And next comes present continuous. When to make use of present continuous tense? You can make use of the word now when you use this tense and then when you want to talk about longer actions in progress and then planned future action. Look at the sentence structure am or is or are plus present participle. So here, when you want to talk about near future events, then in that case, you can go for present continuous. Sheila is meeting her friends after her work. Is she visiting her parents next weekend? So here, when you want to talk about future events, then in that case, you can go for this one. That is actions planned to take place in the near future. And then, for actions in progress at the time of speaking, you are learning English now. They are not reading books. And then comes longer actions in progress. I am studying to become an engineer. 
when someone says this it doesn't mean that at that point of time he or she is studying which means that he or she can be sitting there at any restaurant having their uh, dinner so here the next sentence with always irritating and shocking so here the present continuous with words such as always or constantly expresses the idea that something irritating or shocking often happens look at this sentence she is always coming to class late so which means that they are irritated because of her late coming then comes i'm not hearing anything so here the usage of this word hearing is wrong how to make use of this in a sentence i don't hear anything this is the right usage so here actually this word this verb here is a stative verb and that's the reason why you shouldn't make use of or you shouldn't add ing here along with this verb for more clarification you can watch this channel for stative verbs and dynamic verbs next comes present perfect tense when do you make use of present perfect tense for actions completed in the near past for actions happened in the past but whose time is not given and then for actions which began in the past but are continuing up to the time of speaking so when you want to talk about your experience when you want to talk about change over time or when you want to talk about accomplishments and uncompleted action you are expecting or unspecified time before now or multiple actions at different times for these things you can make use of present perfect tense here so look at the structure here has or have plus past participle so when you want to talk about your experience i have been to paris this sentence means that you have had the experience of being in paris maybe you have been there once or several times and then comes change over time you have grown since the last time i saw you so here which means that the change that has happened over a period of time and when you want to talk about accomplishments doctors have cured many deadly diseases so here you can see no specific time has been used here and that an uncompleted action you are expecting so using the present perfect suggests that we are still waiting for the action to happen look at the given example bill has still not arrived jim has not finished his homework yet and then multiple actions at different times she has had four quizzes and five tests so far this semester and she is yeah still or yet to join many other programs also hasan has talked to several specialists about his problem but nobody knows why he is sick so here present perfect suggests the process is not complete and more actions are possible then unspecified time before now what is that unspecified time before now look at these words here ever never once many many times several times before so far already yet etc these words are unspecific expressions you can make use of these unspecific expressions in present perfect sentence she has watched that movie several times have you ever traveled to mars then comes present perfect continuous so when to make use of present perfect continuous tense children for actions which began in the past but which are still continuing and shall continue for some time and you can make use of the words recently or lately even look at the sentence structure has or have plus been plus present participle so here duration from the past 
until now. We use the present perfect continuous to show that something started in the past and has continued up until now for five minutes, for two weeks, and since yesterday are all durations which can be used with the present perfect continuous. So here, they have been talking for the past two hours. James has been teaching at the university since 2020. Here, for the past two hours, which means that the period of time, and since 2020, which means that the point of time. And here, the next example. Recently, I have been feeling really tired. She has been watching too much television lately. So here, you can also use the present perfect continuous without a duration, such as for two weeks. Without the duration, the tense has a more general meaning of lately. We often use the words lately or recently to emphasize this meaning. So children, I do believe that you have understood the usage of simple present tense, present continuous, present perfect, and present perfect continuous. Thanks for listening to me and watching this video patiently. And please do like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.